had a ton of requests for a video outlining the uh, performance I was able to squeeze out of the MSI GeForce GTX 460 Hawk. So this features the Twin Frozer 2 heatsink. It's got dual DVI, one mini HDMI, and you can see I've got a bunch of fans blowing around it right now. Just kind of uh, put the camera through there. So it takes two six pin power connectors. As I mentioned in my unboxing that I did, you can see the, uh, the voltage checkpoints down here. These fans are going pretty good right now because I have this thing over volted. Uh, let me see. So here is a, a beta version of MSI Afterburner that includes full support for the GTX 460 Hawk. So you can see here the core voltage, memory voltage, and auxiliary voltage are all adjustable. So I've turned up. Um, I'm just going for max core right now. I haven't actually done anything with the memory, but I was able to achieve 962 megahertz fully fur mark stable with the Hawk Edition card. So that is what I was able to do. And I haven't tried any 3D Mark runs yet, but once I dial in the memory, I will, uh, I'll try and get some 3D Mark going. And then uh, what I want to do too is compare it to the GTX 480. So thank you for checking out my uh, core overclocking video on the Hawk. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips and stay tuned for more updates on this sweet video card. Oh, hey, actually, no, before I'm done, here's something I wanted to mention. This is a reference PCB uh, GTX 460. It has the Cyclone Cooler from MSI, but uh, something I wasn't sure about in my video with the Hawk is whether or not it is longer than a reference PCB 460. The answer is yes. It's approximately that much longer. Let's see, my angle. Yeah, my angle is now right. This video is going to be all about comparing the GTX 460 Twin Frozer 2 Hawk from MSI against the GTX 480. Now, it's not a completely fair comparison because I am going to be overclocking the GTX 460. So here is the settings that I am running at here. So you can see I'm running at 962 megahertz on the core and 2.073 gigahertz on the RAM. Okay, so I'm doing that. And here is the score I got in 3D Mark Vantage. So I know I have physics on, but I'm going to have physics on for both cards. So it will be an apples to apples comparison. And this is running a Core i7 980X at 4.15 gigahertz. I'm running six gigs of Kingston uh, Liquid Ready H20 Series HyperX RAM. And uh, I'll be back in a moment when we have the score for the GTX 480. So remember that number. 21601 for the 460 Hawk.